<laughs> what you finna do there? Yo, I wanna, I'm gonna be Prey Boogie up. Ooh. And A Boogie ass. <laughs> and Don Q. I'm finna punch you fuck niggas up. Come on. <laughs> Come on. 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 Everything, what's up? Hey, 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 hey. Come on. We got it with us. I'm finna beat up everybody, calm you, everything, everybody in the world. Come on. I'm gonna fuck. Come on. Yeah, we ain't here. Where you going, bro? I'm gonna fuck my woman. I'm finna beat up everybody. I can press the fuck niggas tonight. Tomorrow. I don't give a fuck, fuck music. Who you say to me? Suck my dick, nigga. All right, Mr. Telefero TV. How's everybody doing out there? So we got two artists here, Kodak Black and Don Q out of New York. So salute Kodak, repping for that Florida. We got Don Q repping for New York. And it looks like these artists are not getting along. So before we get into Kodak and Don Q, let's catch you up on Kodak Black right now because this is a very interesting cat. Kodak hasn't been home, what, a whole two months yet? He was recently released from incarceration out of Florida pretty much Kodak had his kid on Instagram live uh what was that end of 2017 top of 2018 he had his kids on Instagram live and there were drugs around the kid there was guns around the kid uh it just looked like this one big party that you shouldn't be posting your kid around apparently the feds was watching they locked Kodak up they found illegal guns all that stuff and he ended up playing down, doing some time, and he ended up getting out in August, I believe. Now, since then, Kodak Black has gotten his degree. He changed his name to Bill Capri. He pretty much promised the judge, people around him, that he was going to be on a new positive wave when he got home. Everybody's like, okay, we're about to get a new Kodak, a new focused Kodak Black. He comes home. He put on about 40, 50 pounds. Um, he's wild and out. We, I posted a video like a couple weeks ago of him outside of a party where he's freaking out, pretty much talking about some the paparazzi don't love him and how he did this with no help from the industry. He was wild and then um, I'm looking at videos of Kodak Black. He's he doesn't look right. Something doesn't look right. And as a fan of Kodak Black, because he's phenomenal, a ph phenomenal young artist. Some just don't look right, right with this brother since he's been home. And the wave that he said he was going to be on is not what we're seeing. All right. I'm watching him post his kid online, which is one of the dumbest things I've ever seen in my life. He's posting his kid online, cursing, repping a gang. And you just got, came home from jail for doing similar shit. You think the one thing you would not be doing right now is posting your kid when you just came home from going to jail for posting your kid in your Instagram. You think that'd be the one thing you don't do, but Kodak seems to be stuck on stupid. What's the old saying? Fool me once, shame on you, fool me twice. I'm the damn fool. Like you, you cannot be serious. And, and that energy, it, it ran over into Kodak Black's Instagram Live. And if on his Instagram Live, we see Kodak talking crap about A Boogie with the hoodie and Don Q. Now here's why it's interesting enough to me that Kodak's talking crap about A Boogie. Kodak's probably one of his top three most successful records that he was on includes A Boogie. They got a good track record together. As a matter of fact, I like Kodak Black and A Boogie's verse on that Chris Brown joint Wet that came out last year. It was Chris Brown's record, don't get me wrong, but Kodak and A Boogie, I felt like they kind of vibed off each other. That's not enough success. The Drowning record, that has not only A Boogie on it, but Kodak Black is on that record again. Probably another one of Kodak Black's top five records that he's ever had 
um, hit mainstream America, Drowning. Big record for A Boogie and Kodak Black. So these two have had success together and the fact that they're now beefing out of nowhere because Kodak Black sent some threats out on his Instagram live, it baffles my mind. Now in regards to Don Q, Don Q probably would be more of the vocal person in this. I don't expect A Boogie with the hoodie to say much to Kodak Black. Don Q's the mouthpiece. He's not gonna hold any tongue back and he's gonna be the person that's gonna wanna be about that action with Kodak Black. I don't know where it stems from. I don't know if Kodak was just out of his mind high, but as you see in the video with Don Q, he went and checked out some fight footage of Kodak Black back in the day. And I don't think he's too impressed with Kodak Black and his fighting ability or capabilities. And I'm guessing Don Q, I thought this was a joke. I thought maybe Kodak was trolling when I seen him say that he wanted to fight Don Q and A Boogie with the hoodie. But looking at Don Q post that footage uh, or post a video of him watching Kodak Black fight, I'm realizing that they're probably serious. It's probably not a game or a joke right now. And um, look, man, Kodak might be high. I'm just being honest with you. He looks like he's out of it. He looks like he might be on something right now. And when I, but the video I did yesterday, I did a, like a double story in one video yesterday with the Webby and then I talked about Kodak a little bit. He doesn't feel like the love is there with him right now. He said pretty much he felt more loved when he was behind bars than he does now. He feel like all the jealousy and hate is coming out of people now. Maybe that is true, Kodak. But I just think this brother needs at least one or two real people around him. Ever since he's come home, I've only seen white men in suits around him, right? No, no disrespect to any white man in a suit that's around Kodak Black. Of course, we're not playing a race game here, but we know Kodak Black came up around uh, people of his skin complexion. And I would just say this, maybe you need to have one or two of your homeboys with you. I'm not saying have 30 of your homeboys with you, but if you have one or two of your homeboys that ain't scared to, to keep it real with you and don't care about you trying to threaten them by cutting them off, you had a couple of real homeboys around you. Maybe you have somebody that could tell you, yo, this ain't it, bro. Maybe we shouldn't be posting that. That ain't it. Because you could tell right now Kodak Black might use a, a sense of reality and hopefully somebody could step in and stop him from potentially going down a bad trail again, which a lot of people believe is what got Kodak locked up at the top of this year, which was people not keeping it real around him and um, not calling him out for some of the stupid actions that he was doing. Thank y'all for the time, love, and support. I don't take it for granted. Kodak Black said he wants to fight Don Q and A Boogie, and Don Q said, I'm ready for that smoke, B. You don't want it, though. I'm out. I came from nothing, but I want everything God has for me. I interview celebrities. I talk sports. I still represent the culture. I got the kids that you are now tuned in. Tuned in. Yo, we locked in right now, Mr. Telefair. Mr. Telefair. Mr. Telefair. Mr. Telefair. Mr. Telefair. Shout out to Mr. Telefair. You're watching Mr. Telefair TV. Mr. Telefair TV? Here with the triple B's. You can't do nothing but win.